Hey, this is Pete Fletcher from VMware. Now you may already know this, but on June 1st, HPE released vSAN Ready Nodes with support for vSphere 7. Now that's a pretty big deal because vSphere 7 comes with a unified lifecycle management capability called vSphere Lifecycle Manager, or VLCM. Now in this demo, I have a vSAN cluster that has three HP DL360s Gen 10s, uh, and I run through a full non-disruptive remediation of all of the servers in my cluster. Let's take a look. HPE supports an exhaustive portfolio of workload-optimized vSAN configurations that cover the entire spectrum of traditional data center workloads. They support both Intel and AMD-based solutions. HPE continues to make the day 0, 1, and 2 operations easier for the customer. This release is focused on simplifying solution acquisition with pre-configured and validated nodes, factory installation of software, firmware, and drivers, providing a known working starting point, and integrated lifecycle management for maintenance and update activities all performed from a singular interface, vCenter. This video demonstrates the unified lifecycle management capabilities in vSphere and vSAN 7. This environment consists of a vSAN cluster with three HP DL360 Gen 10s. In a separate management cluster, I've got the Hardware Support Manager, or HSM, for my HPE cluster. Let's take a look at the HSM interface, which is part of the HPE ILO amplifier pack. This is where you can register your HSM inside vCenter. It's also where you can manage your firmware baselines. HPE delivers their software and firmware in bundles called SPPs, or Service Packs for ProLiant. In vSphere 7, vendor add-ons are automatically downloaded from the new Unified Depot hostupdate.vmware.com. When I open Lifecycle Manager, I can see the ESXi version as well as the vendor add-on HPE Customization for HPE Servers. These will make up part of my baseline image, but I still need that firmware bundle. Using the HPE HSM plugin, I'm able to add that firmware bundle, that SPP, that I imported previously in the ILO amplifier pack. This software and firmware bundle, coupled with the ESXi version and the HPE customization pack, all make up VLCM's desired state image. But before VLCM can manage the servers, there's one more thing I need to do. From the Configure tab of each of my hosts, I'll click on the HPE ILO configuration. This is where I can add the ILO IP address and credentials so VLCM can manage the entire remediation. All right, with everything in place, let's take a look at VLCM inside vCenter. For customers creating a new cluster, you'll notice some different options. Selecting the Manage All Hosts in the Cluster with a Single Image is VLCM. You may already have a cluster and perhaps are using vSphere Update Manager, VUM. In this case, click on the Updates tab and you'll notice on the very top a button that says Manage with a Single Image. This is how you switch from using VUM to vSphere Lifecycle Manager. Keep in mind, switching from VUM to VLCM is a one-time thing. You can no longer use this cluster for VUM. I've already got a three-node vSAN cluster called HPE Cluster, configured for VLCM. Let's take a look. On the Updates tab, I see my baseline image with my ESXi version and that HPE vendor add-on. But I need to add that SPP, that firmware and drivers add-on. Once I click Save, VLCM will validate the baseline image and then run a compliance check on all of my hosts. Once the compliance check is complete, under Image Compliance, I can see the results. It looks like I've got some firmware that's out of date. I can see the side-by-side -side comparison of the firmware that's on my host compared to the firmware that's in my image. Looks like I've got three hosts I need to remediate. Now I have the option to remediate just one server, but VLCM can non-disruptively remediate my entire cluster, so I'm gonna choose Remediate All. VLCM will start remediating my servers in a non-disruptive rolling upgrade fashion, much like VUM. It'll start by migrating the workload off one of the servers, putting the host in maintenance mode, installing any software, and then rebooting the host to install the firmware. Once the server comes back up, it'll run a compliance check, return the workload to the server, and continue on to the other hosts. I see the first host has already restarted, so looking into the ILO interface, I can see that the firmware updates are in progress. Once all software, firmware, and drivers have been installed on the server, VLCM will restart the server, run a compliance check, 
migrate the workload back to the host, and move on to the next server. When VLCM completes the remediation, I can see that all three of my hosts have been remediated and are compliant with the VLCM desired state image. vSphere Lifecycle Manager in vSphere 7 is supported across a wide range of HPE compute platforms. To download the ILO amplifier pack or to get documentation on HPE's HSM, use the following links. All right, well, thank you for watching this video of vSAN ReadyNotes with support for vSphere 7 on HPE. If you have any questions, be sure to go to hpe.com. Thank you.